welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is a bookstore vlog i have two barnes and noble coupons or not coupons gift cards like look how cute this is it's a little coffee cup and then there's the gift card when i tell you i freaked out when i saw this crazy so the plan for today is to spend my christmas money eat some good food go to the bookstore maybe get starbucks and it's gonna be a good day it is the next day i didn't vlog when i came home because we got home so late and i was just so tired from being out and about all day that the minute my head hit the pillow i was out completely we ended up going to dinner at the melting pot which was just amazing highly recommend if you are celebrating like a special occasion we were celebrating our three-year anniversary and they really did like above and beyond it was so much fun so my second class of the day ended up getting canceled so i think i'm gonna go run some errands today because i need to drop off my headphones at best buy because they literally just stopped working out of nowhere and i have like 10 days left on my warranty so i'm utilizing that target is also on that side of town so i might drop in and kind of do a little look-see at the book aisle but in the meantime let's do a barnes and noble haul so I do not have a Barnes & Noble near me. The closest one is probably like 45 minutes to an hour. So when we were by one, I knew I had to go in. The only downside is that I just got a bunch of books for Christmas. I just uploaded a haul of all that. It was like 20 plus books. So if you want to go check that out, highly recommend. It's a good haul. So I really didn't have any books on my radar, if I'm going to be honest. And one of my 2024 reading goals I guess is to not buy books for the sake of buying books I feel like I have a shopping addiction or something because I get so sad when I go into a store and I don't buy anything I am very much a participant in retail therapy I am not afraid to say that but the book I ended up getting it is a new release and I'm very excited about it it's Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross and I did not pre-order this on Amazon because I wanted the like white exclusive edition cover I guess and I am so excited to read this. I read Define Rivals I want to say in September or August and I really really liked it. I liked that it felt like almost a historical fiction book even though it's fantasy. It felt like it took place in the past even though it, it literally is about like a war between gods and there's magical typewriters and there's like magical buildings in this town and it's just so good the romance was also like 
top tier. I love Roman. I'm hoping in this book we get a little bit more information about like the world building and the magic system. I think that's kind of what was lacking in the first book. Like when I went to write my review for my bookstagram, another plug if you haven't followed my bookstagram go follow my bookstagram but when I was writing my review that was kind of like my biggest complaint or criticism was kind of the world building and the magic system taking a back seat almost but I'm hoping we get more of that in this book I did watch like a spoiler free reading vlog of this and the girl did talk about how it's a little bit slow so I'm a little bit worried but We'll see because I actually am really excited about this. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the last book because I think it's just a duology. So that's also really fun because it's a fantasy read, but it's kind of low commitment because it's only two books. I just got back from Target. The book shopping part of that trip was a total bust. My Target book aisle was definitely lacking. It definitely needed to be restocked. I was surprised to see The Serpent the Wings of Night there. I didn't know Carissa Brabant got traditionally published, so that's honestly amazing. The cover was pretty much the same to the indie one that I have. Even though I didn't get any books, I did end up getting some Valentine's Day decor because I am ready to transition from Christmas to Valentine's Day because I just love Valentine's Day decor. Like it's pink, it has hearts, it's perfect so i ended up getting like a cute little table runner some little bowls for my tray on my dining room table and then a little moped thing i also got these like little peanut butter jelly guys for my bookshelf my boyfriend really liked those so i ended up getting those nothing too crazy i honestly was kind of disappointed by that selection as well like i'm definitely gonna have to go to tj maxx or something because I need more pink things in my apartment, okay? It's just a must. But I think that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I have basically two gift cards left, so there will definitely be more bookstore vlogs in the future. Make sure to go follow my bookstagram. I post daily. I post reviews, what I'm currently reading. I post like fun reels. That is always linked in my description so make sure to go check that out if you want to see more bookish content from me and that is it thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time goodbye